In Power Apps, with the help of SharePoint, we can get our data because SharePoint is our data source. But can we make an API call in our Power Apps? The answer is yes. With the help of Graph API, we can make the API call in our Power Apps. And with the recent updates, we can handle the response in our Power Apps application. Hi, I'm Gora from KnowHow Academy. So we generally know that we can query the data from our data source, whether it's SharePoint or Dataverse. But Graph API opens a lot of options for us in Power Apps. But with the help of Graph API, we can query all the enterprise data in our Power Apps. Now, how we can use our Graph API in Power Apps? So let me tell you in this video, we are going to learn how we can use the Graph API call in our Power Apps. Then we will query the Microsoft Teams data in our Power Apps with the help of Graph API. And after that, we will see how we can query the SharePoint site and list data with the help of our Graph API. So first, first of all, we will create a blank application. I will name it Graph API Call. Now, in our screen one, we will take a button. Here, we have taken our button. Now, so first we will go in our data and there we will add our Office 365 groups. After adding the groups, we will go to our settings first. And here in the updates preview, I will turn on the custom data type. After that, to make a Graph API call, we will go to our browser and search Graph Explorer Microsoft. Now this is our Graph Explorer. You can simply sign in and make a call. So here are our sample queries. This is to get my profile and these are for applications, Edge, Excel, Groups, Identity and Access, Microsoft Teams and many more. So first of all, I will take this API call, click on run query. And as you can see, we have got our response. OK. And this is my JSON response. So how we can use this response in our Power Apps application. So we will go to our Power Apps and here on the button call, we'll write office 365 groups dot HTTP request then we need to add the URL. Now I need to copy the URL. So I will copy then paste here. After that, we will select the method. Our method you can see is get and then we need to add the request body. So we don't have any request body. As you can see, there is no request body. So we will call this API. After clicking preview on the button click, our API call has been succeeded. To check that, we will go in our advanced tools, open live monitor. Now we will make the API call. And here you can see we have gotten our success. And in our request here, you can see the response. Now in our response, here is our body which contains our response. Now we want to display our name in our Power Apps. So for that in our button, I will change the text to call API and I will create a variable. I will name it where my profile. After that, I will write set and close this. Now I will take the text. In the text, I will write the variable, which is where my profile dot we will go to the response display name here. I will write display name. So when I click on call API here, our name is being shown. So this is how you can get your data with the help of graph API in power. App. Now, what if we want to display our team's data? Here, I will search Microsoft Teams and search get my joint teams. Now I'll click on copy, but 
before pasting it we will run the query here and here the response is here and as you can see the response is in our value which is an array so how we can display the error response in our power apps so for that we will go back to our power apps and in our button we will change the variable name which will be where my teams and we will change the url i will remove the text here now we will click on call api now this is our http request success i will clear the data again call the api and as you can see the response is in the form of a table we can make it like a json tree and in the body you can see the response which is value so to display this we will now we will take a vertical gallery to display our response so here i will take a vertical gallery now in the items we will write our variable which is where my teams dot value it will be in small and we need it in the table format so here we will write table after that we will change the layout to title and subtitle now we will go in our response and here we will display the display name and description in our gallery so here this item dot value dot display name and for the description we will copy the description here and write this item dot value dot copy and description so here you can see our join teams is being displayed here similarly we need to get our sharepoint sites so for that we need to go to our graph explorer and here we will search sites here we will take search for a sharepoint site by keyword now we will copy this url and then we will go to our power apps and here paste now we will take a text input for searching our site here we will place it right here and in the call instead of the static search we will write and here we will cut this search equal to and then we will write and text input one dot text then we will close this so here our formula is set and instead of where teams i will write where sites now here i will search know how and click on call api now in the live monitor we will check in the body we have got our response in the value so we will display the display name of our site so here it will be where sites dot value and as you can see here we can see the sharepoint sites now what if we want to see the list of our selected sites so for that we will take our vertical gallery again we will place it here now to get our list we will go here here in the search we can search know how and we will get our sites name with know how here is our site id so we will copy this id first and then we will change our url here we will paste the site id and then list then we will run the query you can see the query has ran successfully so we will copy this url go in our application here in our first gallery on select we will make the api call office 365 groups dot http request then for the url we will paste the url here 
then we will write the method which is get and then the double quotes for our request body then we will close it and we will store this in our variable which will be where list we will close the variable and one more thing here we will remove this we will write and then it will be this item dot value dot id and here it will be table my list where list dot value now to check that here the layout i will change the layout this item dot value dot so first we need our name in the value here i will write the name value dot name and then we will display the description same as our site value dot description now we will select this and as you can see here we can see our sharepoint list also here instead of our arrow now here in our icon we will change the icon with our link and we will go in our monitor we will copy the web url and on select we will write this item dot value dot web url so on select we will launch this item dot web url after clicking preview when i click here here you can see we have been navigated to our sharepoint site so this is how you can use the graph api call in our power apps so in this video we learned how we can use the graph api call in our power apps then we used graph api call to get our join teams in our power apps and then we used our sharepoint list and site in our power apps vertical gallery with the help of our graph api call Thank you for choosing KnowHow Academy as your IT source. We are always there to help you navigate to the tech world. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. So stay curious and keep learning.